I, I feel like this. I feel like the ores in here are kind of like a mistake, a bug or something. What? What the ever loving hell is that? What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. All right, guys. You know, I've been thinking about what I wanted to do today. I really, really want to do some building, but I can't do some building because I'll be damned if I'm going to be chopping down trees myself. Uh, for those of you who don't know a lot about this game, there is a little survivor named Scott. If we rescue Scott, we, he will chop down trees for us. So I'll be damned if I'm going to chop down trees like a commoner when I could just have Scott do it. All right. Now, in order to rescue Scott, um, I'm going to need some ammo. Now, some of you guys are super pro at this game and you don't need ammo. You could sneak into, you know, bandit bases with a knife and just execute everyone like some kind of, I don't know, robot ninja or something. That's cool. I don't have those skills. I don't have that skill set. I need ammo. Plus, I just kind of like guns. I like shooting things. So, um, in order for us to get ammo, we're going to have to go with, we're going to have to go to what I have now dubbed, what did I dub it? The ammo mine. All right, so we're going to go to the ammo mine. Now, there's two mines in the game. There's the mine I went through a couple videos ago, which I would call the ore mine. The ore mine? The ingot mine? Yeah, maybe the ingot mine. That's pretty cool. And then the second mine, which is actually the newer mine, is called the, um, the ammo mine. Okay? We're going to need it to make ammo. All right? Now, the reason I'm collecting a bunch of rocks is because we also need to make mortar and pestle. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get things like, you know... Uh, not potassium nitrate, but they call it like salt, salt peter or something. Um, and then we're going to get things like that. We're going to get salt peter. We're going to get, um, what is the other? Coal? Is it coal? Oh, God, it's been so long. And anyway, we're going to get stuff to make gunpowder. Okay? And that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'm also going to pick up loot along the way. Honestly, I just want to loot, to be perfectly frank, because I want I want to, like, open up more of this uh, bag space. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of conscious about too many looting videos. I like to make these exciting, you know, videos. And, uh, you know, honestly, getting ammo would be a really good use of my time. So, that's what we're going to be doing. Now, what I'm doing right now... Come on, man. Go on a truck, bro. What I'm doing right now is I'm basically just organizing all of my, uh, my, my truck storage. And this is how I like to do. All right, there we go. Nice and neat. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, there's nothing else for me to put in there. Um, so I'm wondering if I should put other things in here or just leave this empty for when I find more suitcases. Uh, I don't know. That's a tough call. I really don't know how I want to handle that. Um, right now I'm just kind of setting up one, like, uh, one suitcase that's going to have stuff for my, in case anything in my car breaks down. Right? So that's what I'm doing right now. So let's, uh, we don't need any of that. Uh, maybe I should keep the hammer with me. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing at the next mine, the next mine has, has infected in it, okay? And the infected are kind of a nuisance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making livestock fence um, to kind of, like, block off the infected so I could fight them easier. Also, there's a um, there's a big dude called a, what's he called, Berserker? And he's bad. So what I want to do is I want to kind of lock him in an area, and then I'll have the mine to myself. And I'm going to do that with livestock fence. Do I need a hammer for livestock fence, which is what I was looking for? No, I don't. I'm going to need a lot of sticks, though. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm going to have to collect some sticks. All right, there we go. So that's good. Um, we'll take all of this out. There we go. I'm going to put all of this stuff in there because I'm going to need a lot of these components for the fences. And that's looking pretty good. So let's see how we make the mortar and pestle. Honestly, I don't remember what I make the mortar and pestle in. Uh, it's not in here. Yeah, I'm going to have to make it in the um, the freaking... Uh, I'm going to have to drive all the way over and make it in the blacksmith place. That's right. Okay. Blacksmith place. How expensive is that? You know, 20 components. I can't justify that right now. So we're going to go to the other one. Oh, also, I turned off the grass. Um, I think when I leave the base for the day, I'll turn the grass back on. But if I'm around the base, I'm, I'm leaving it off because having grass come through my floor, just, you know, very few things inspire white hot rage, like having freaking stupid <laughs> grass coming through the floor of my house. It drives me nuts. The problem is it just looks ugly out here without the grass. And it's kind of an issue, but I don't know. It feels like less of an issue than the alternative, which is having grass come through my floor. So yeah, we gotta rescue Scott, man. We gotta rescue Scott. I'm gonna chop down some trees. Um, some I, I've been like talking about putting big walls around this base, and some people said, uh, and I might have mentioned this, but I'm gonna mention it again because it's important. People, people give me this like uh, suggestion all the time, and it's a cool suggestion, but I'm gonna tell you why I don't like it. Um, basically, what they say is they say instead of putting big walls around your base, put livestock fence, and they're right. It'll work. It'll work 100%, just as good as walls. Okay. There's one thing I don't like about that. 
it, it looks awful. You know, just having a, like, livestock fence around the entire base just looks bad, in my opinion. Um, I like the big walls. They're, they're imposing. They're badass. And I think we're going to put big walls around this base just because they're imposing and badass. All right. So I need to collect some uh, branches here and get some sticks made. So let me do that, and I'll be back in a minute. Jesus, I just left this area, and then I come back, and there's, like, 50 more stones. It's wonderful. I love it. Freaking trees everywhere, sticks everywhere. Uh, let's see what I've got going on. All right, so this is my branches. Let's put all the branches together. Man, it feels like I should have gotten more than that. <laughs> oh, man. They, they come in slow, dude. We got to get Scott for sure. Um, these are all the stones, though. The stones seem to come in pretty pretty fast. All right, I'm going to actually take these stones with me. All right. And let's just... Uh, we can just carry those. I don't really need to do anything. I also broke open some cars. So I'm just gonna throw this stuff on the ground for now. I'll organize this crap later. Just gotta get going. Let's get to that. Let's go to the uh, blacksmith place and uh, go ahead and make some stuff. Oh, I didn't even see this one. All right, hold on. Let's get this one in there. All right, there we go. Does that one have less space? I think that is less space, right? Oh yeah, look at that. I didn't know. I didn't know the um, the loot containers. You know the uh, the suitcases. I thought they all had the same amount of space. All right, we're gonna leave that out of there then. Because we're going to want real suitcases in this bad boy. Alright, so we're going to... I was going to make the blacksmith place. But I kind of want that to be its own video. We're going to... We're going to make the blacksmith place eventually. Maybe next video. I, I, don't, I don't really know. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Definitely got to make it soon-ish. And I actually could make it. Um, the problem is it's really going to put me low on, on components. And I'm going to need the components uh, to... You know. Basically, I'm going to need the components to do the fencing for this video. So I really don't want to use too many of them. Um, so once I get the, once I get the ammo, right, I'm gonna need, actually, we're gonna need the blacksmith place to make the ammo. We might actually make the blacksmith place next episode. Oh, no, no, we need, like, some kind of workbench for the ammo, that's right. Well, we need, we need the blacksmith place to make the casings, and then we need the weapons bench, I think, the reload bench, I think it's called. Should be called the weapon bench, I mean, reload bench doesn't make much sense, but... I guess we're making ammo so we can reload, but it doesn't even make the ammo. It makes the uh, casings for the ammo. But I guess I guess you can kind of get the idea. I would have called it a weapons bench personally, but I guess that's just me. We went the long way around, didn't we? That's all right. It's a nice, nice drive. Have a nice drive here. All righty. Just going to come right over here and use this blacksmith place for the time being. Okay. And let's see what we can actually make in here. Because I forget. I always forget. I get confused. Alright, so there's the uh, mortar and pestles. Alright, so that's great. Um, we won't make that just yet. Uh, right here. Yep, yep. So we need the blacksmith pa place to make the ca the casings. So yeah, we're probably going to make a blacksmith place next video. And hopefully make some ammo. Depending on how much we get done uh, today in the mine. Uh, oh, machete. I forgot about the machete. Okay, let's go ahead and make... Uh, I guess we'll make three of these. Or just four. Yeah, let's just make four. Good old hour and 19 minutes. I can't tell if the mist is coming in, which is kind of a problem. Yep, there it is. There it is. There she blows. All right, we're just going to go home and sleep this off at night <laughs> at our own house. Because the hell with that. Now, when you drive around during the mist, uh, it's kind of annoying because like the, the infected will be in your way. And if you crash into them, that could be a problem. As a matter of fact, let's just do that really quick. You know, but I should be able to get home okay. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. All right, guys, it's bright and early in the morning. I think I'm ready to rock. I have done some inventory management, so let me bring you up to speed. Uh, first of all, the wood is all over the floor for now. Uh, tires, car stuff all over the floor for now. This is where I'm putting all my ores and some of the metal scraps. This is obviously where I'm putting all my tools. I think I showed you those two last time. Um, over here, I am still doing water. This is a whole new set of water coming out. This thing's already got... 13.96 liters. The water's going just fine. Okay. Uh, and then I brought these two in. Uh, th these aren't really organized. I just brought, I just brought them in for now. I will definitely organize those at some point. And now here I have what I like to call drop-off chests, right? So when I come home, if I don't have time to organize and stuff, or if I, if I want to like, rec if I'm recording and I don't want to do inventory management on screen, I can just drop stuff off in these three items and uh, I'll probably build more. I'll probably bring more of those as we go along. Oh, uh, we did have some infected out here. All right, no loot. I didn't think so. This is what I'm bringing with me. I've actually, I'm actually really low on food. I think next video we're probably gonna have to kill a bear. Um, I have three things of this meat right here, and that's it. 
Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to do some looting on the way up to the mine, but not too much looting. It's not going to be like a, a big thing of looting. Um, you know, just stuff along the road and stuff and everything. All right, so let's go this way. Oh, also, I don't even remember if I've looted this military um, compound over here. Let's take a look through this military compound. I'm not actually going to loot it. I just want to know if I have looted it because I'd like to make a video out of looting this compound over here. But, I, you know, if I've already looted, I'll be wasting my time. I know I've been in here. A couple times. I just don't know if I've looted the entire thing properly. So let's take a look around really quickly. Come on, damn it. Man, he's not jumping up on stuff like he used to. I don't know. What's up with that? Yeah, I'm, actually, I do think I've pretty much looted this entire place. But did I take all of the items out? Nope. Yeah, you know what? Oh, wait. No, that's not. There's like, um, there's chests in here that I want to bring with me. Yeah, like these. Yeah, see, I've looted them. I just haven't brought them out. And I'm not going to take these with me. I'm just going to kind of throw them out on the road and come back and get them at some point. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to leave loot because I might want to make a... Like I said, I might want to make a video of me coming in here to loot. I just don't think there's enough in here to make it worth an entire video. Yeah, nah. Nah, nah, screw that. We've looted most of this. Or maybe it was mostly empty. I don't know. Either way, there's not a lot of loot in here. But there are containers. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of these containers. All right, guys. I've decided to take this stuff now. I was going to leave it here for a while and come back and get it, but who knows when that'll be. I mean, I need the storage in the truck. I need the storage in the base. Um, it's not exactly, uh, you know, put down elegantly, but it's good enough for now. By the way, one of these I did not loot last time. Uh, well, this one I looted last time, but I couldn't finish looting it because I didn't have uh, the room, I'm guessing. I don't remember that being the case, but sounds sounds about right. Uh, but there's one over here I didn't even look in last time. So there you go. There's a bunch of stuff in there. That's pretty sweet. All right. Let's go ahead and have a snack. I think we've earned it. I went ahead and grabbed those shotgun shells that I saw earlier. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's get out to the mine. I don't remember what I'm looking for as far as loot goes. I guess mainly food and storage items. Oh, and the bags. That's right. The bags. I need to get the bags for my inventory management issues. All right, so let's keep on keeping on. There's going to be a um, roadblock up here, and there's going to be, like, a gas station. Uh, the gas station I might loot. The problem with the looting the gas station is it's really close to a sniper nest, a bandit sniper nest, which is a problem. Um, although, I'm going to have to drive by that anyway to get to the mine, I think, so that should be pretty interesting. Now, that sniper bandit nest is pretty cool. It's where I'm going to get my first sniper weapon, first uh, sniping weapon. I forget what it's called, um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a scoped rifle. Um, pretty sweet. You know, and uh, that's where I'm gonna get my first one. Basically, what you do is you kind of you, you kind of sneak up on the guy. If you do it right, um, he can't really get you, and you can kind of sneak up on him and, and nail him. And that's what I will do. And then once I have a snipe, once I have a sniping weapon, he doesn't always drop it either. So if you do it once and he doesn't drop it, just you know try again. Uh, and once I have a sniping weapon, I can just go and attack the bandit bandit bases, get Scott, and then I can start building my base. That's kind of what I'm uh, looking at here. Now, there's a lot of military stuff up here. Which I will make a video of. I'm not going up there now. Uh, I, you know, I'm going to stop going places half-assed. Like, oh, I'm going to go up and grab a couple things. No. I'm going to make a day out of it. It's going to be a video. And, you know, because I'm kind of aggravated that I um, I kind of half-assed looted that military compound I just came out of. So, how much can this hold? Yeah, that can only hold 20 liters. Alright. So, if that can only hold 20 liters, why don't we just go ahead and fill this bad boy up so we can take more. Fill the tank, fill the tank. Fill the tank. I don't know how much the tank can hold. I've gotten the tank up to like 26 liters, I think. But I don't know exactly. All right, let's keep on keeping on here. All right. I'm debating if I want to do any looting at all. Uh, that gas station might be a good place to loot, though. There might be some food in there. Um, again, though, that could be a that could be a video. Yeah. No. Stay focused, kids. Don't loot stuff like that. That could be an actual video. All right. So this is going to be tough because... Uh, in not infected, but um, bandits will spawn here, right up there. So I'm going to kind of give it a wide berth and hopefully I don't get shot at. Um, if they hit your car, they will do major damage to the uh, parts inside of it. Strangely enough, that doesn't do any damage to it, at least as far as I know. I've checked many times after crashing that I've never seen any damage to my vehicle by crashing into stuff. So take that for what you will. Now, I don't know what I want to do next episode, guys. We may have to do a loot run video. I don't know, man. There's a lot of things I need to do. I need to get Scott. That's what I need. Um, a loot run would help with that, though. Because you can actually loot quite a bit of ammo. And I'm going to need a lot of ammo. To get Scott, 
Old Scotty boy. Excuse me. All right, and here we are at the ammo mine. Welcome to the ammo mine. Save the game. And we will grab... I hate that. Um, we will grab some of these. Actually, just grab all of them. Because that's what we're going to need for the fencing. All right. All right, so like I said, it's going to be... Sometimes there's a lot of infected in here. Sometimes there's not. It's just kind of... There's also a quest in here you can do. Um, if you find, it's not really a quest. You just find a lever. You activate this, um, you know, I don't know, junction box something, and with the lever, and then all the lights get turned on. But for now, it's gonna be too dark for you guys. Okay, here we go. So let's see what we got down here. There, there might not be like sometimes there's sometimes there's infected down here. Sometimes there's not. Uh, let's just kind of see what's going on here. We gotta kind of listen. All right, I don't hear any. Okay, that's the thing you got to put the uh, the lever into. I think the lever. Oh yeah, right here. Wait, can I take multiple levers? Did I take the lever? Hmm, that's weird. It doesn't seem to be picking it up, right? Do you see it in my inventory? I don't. Oh no, I might be bugged with the lever, unless I don't. Oh, oh, you know what? It doesn't go in your inventory. Probably key items. <laughs> there you go. Freaking 50 levers. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's pretty cool. I totally forgot about that. What's this? I guess can't do anything with it just yet. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to go ahead and start making some fencing to block out the infected. So in case I come down here and they do spawn, which th they will at some point. It might even be, they might even spawn when I put the lever in. Okay, put that right there. And put that right there. All right, let's go ahead and make these. And then we'll put down one more set for now. There we go. Okay, now where do I want to put the next one? Um, you know, I kind of think it would go... That's weird. Look at the light. That's a bug. It's weird. I thought someone was down here with a flashlight. I was scared the crap out of me. All right, so why don't we put this one right here? Ooh, a gear. Very nice. All right, so we're going to put the next fence right here to divide. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good spot to divide. And then we'll come right across. We're trying not to make too many fencing because uh, it is kind of, you know, it's it's not expensive, but it, it could get expensive, you know, if you keep putting a lot of them down. Okay. And that should be enough. I don't think they can get around that. Pretty sure they won't be able to get around that. But who knows? Could cost me my life. But, you know, we'll see. If I can't get around it, they can't. Yeah, they can't get around that. Okay, so now we got a little bit of a blockade here for the first part. Now I'll put the, I'll put the lever in there and activate the lights. Huh? All right, there you go. So is that all the lights? Yeah, it's pretty good now. All right, so now that we've done that, we're gonna we're gonna keep going down. Don't take more levers, Cage. You don't need them. And let's go ahead and save just in case. And let's see what's down here. Okay, place is pretty clear. This is the stuff we're looking for, by the way. But we're going to kind of look around first. Oh, that's right. You can get actual ores in this cave. I don't like that. I think it should be all, you know, no ores, just stuff to make bullets with. All right. So we're going to duck down through here. Go over here. There's, okay. So if you, if you go past here, now you're dealing with the big boy. All right. I'm not sure how far I can go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a fence right here. Now that what I what I mean by the big boy is the the berserker. This guy's nasty. Um, I'll mess with him today just in case you haven't watched you know a lot of videos on this game. And you don't know what the berserker is. I'll go mess with him. Should be pretty fun. Now the berserker, you can kill him. Um, I see no reason to kill him. I feel like it's just a waste of like time, energy, ammo, whatever. Uh, but what I want to do is I know where he spawns. 
So what I want to do is I will kill him once and then build fencing around where he spawns. So whenever I come in here after that, he'll be blocked and he won't be able to spawn. So that, uh, that's not going to be today, but you know, probably wouldn't be tomorrow. Uh, but there's, there is right in front of me, there is some stuff to loot over there and there is some ores I can hit. Although I don't think there's a lot of ores over there. It might not be wor worth it. Yeah, I don't think you can get around that. All right, let's mess with him right now just for the lulls. Once you see the hit point bar, there he is. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. All right, let's save just so we don't, just in case we die. What he'll do is he'll throw rocks at you. He'll try and punch you. And he'll also do this thing where he like stomps on the ground or something. And then rocks start falling from the, uh, from the ceiling. See, he spawns right there. There he is. There he is. Come on, bro. I might be running back too far. There he is. Yeah, see, I'm running back too far. I put the fence back too far. That's okay. Yeah, okay. I'll move the fence up some other time. That's not really what this video is about. And we'll, we'll mess with him some more. But yeah, he's pretty He's pretty cool. Alright, let's start mining. Alright, so this is the stuff we need, guys. This is saltpeter. And uh, this stuff will... Um, Oh, sulfur. Sorry. The white stuff is saltpeter. Uh, and then what you do is you just grind it down into powder. You put it together and you make... Um, you basically make uh, gunpowder with it. I don't like the fact that there's ores in this cave. It kind of messes with the whole idea of one cave being one set of things. The other cave being another set. But, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I, I feel like this... I feel like the ores in here are kind of like a mistake. A bug or something. What? What the ever-loving hell is that? Wow, that's crazy. I did not know that was in the game. All right, equipment. So, oh, you can't do that with it, though? It's got good protection, but I can't put it on? Oh, that's a bummer. Anybody know what's going on with this hard hat? I was hoping it would have, like, a light attached. Although, I guess I already have a light. So, it wouldn't really do me much good, but still. It's, you know, even though it's not really useful, I guess. Um, you let me know if it is. But uh, even even though that's the case, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's still nice to find new things. You know, I haven't seen any saltpeter. There's been a lot of sulfur. Okay. Yeah, I think this mine should only have saltpeter and sulfur. And the other mine should only have ores. The other mine does only have ores. There's no saltpeter or sulfur in the other mine. It is saltpeter, right? I always get confused with saltpeter. I, one time I called it salt pepper. And then, like, uh, yeah, it's saltpeter sounds right. Um, I picked up some of that. I don't care about charcoal. I can always make charcoal easily. Uh, copper. Eh. I'm not going to pick up the copper just because it's using up a lot of inventory space. Although I will need the copper to make uh, brass to make the uh, the casings. But maybe we'll come back and get it. Uh, really? Is there any <clears throat> saltpeter anywhere? So I'm guessing this mine works the same as the other mine uh, where you just log out, log back in and everything respawns. So we're going to try that after we've um, mined everything. All right, so I think that's where the where the um, mining materials start. I don't think there's any up here. Now, this is not exactly a safe area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one more set of fencing. Going right across here so I can have a safe area to, to you know, camp out and, you know, uh, spawn back in the game. Well, that's most unfortunate. Um, I set myself up to uh, spawn in there protected and this jackass spawned in there with me. All right, well, what are you going to do? Okay, so what I did was I restarted the world and came back in, and there was an asshole spawned in, like, spawned in here with me. So maybe maybe I could, like, maybe spawn up here or something. Because, like, if you spawn in where, where there's infected, you could easily just get killed over and over and over. Um, and it's really hard to, like, kind of get out of that. So we're going to go ahead and take care of these guys. Um, it's not a bad setup. It's just I'm not sure exactly where they spawn and where I should log out and stuff. Um, practice will make perfect. You know what? Let's use the spear. Be a better use of my uh, items anyway. Come on, spear. It's got more reach. At least I think it does. Yeah, it does. It takes forever to kill him now. Well, that one was one shot, but that was because I hit him with the sledgehammer already. Oh, all right. It doesn't take forever to kill him. There we go. We just got to time it right. Shut up, timer. Alright, so the cool thing is at least I can loot these guys. I do want to take salt. I actually want that as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss this 
just gonna go on the floor. It's not gonna like go away or anything. Let's toss that. As far as I can tell, the helmet's not used for anything. So, all right, what you got? Don't care about bottles. I also ran out of sticks, so I had to take that thing apart, which is kind of annoying. I mean, you use a lot of sticks for those fencing, dude. It's, it's a lot of sticks. Uh, I don't need rags. I mean, I do need rags, but not not bad enough to clutter up my inventory. All right, so what else can I drop here? Uh, let's go ahead and drop some soda, and let's continue mining. Hopefully, I can uh, hopefully I can mine in peace. I don't know how many of these dirt bags are gonna be around here, but all right, let's go ahead and save. All right. See, I don't know if he's gonna be able to be down here. Well, the stuff is respawned. It's just all ore. Oh, it's terrible, man. Oh my god, most of it's ore. Yeah, he needs to do something about that. It's gonna be hard. it's gonna be too hard to get the saltpeter and the and the sulfur. I think he needs to make it so ores do not spawn in this cave, because ores definitely do not spawn in the other mine. That's I mean I've never seen it, and I was I've been in there for you know a decent amount of time. So, oh my god, more ore. Ugh, I don't have to mine the ore too. You know I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some storage in here. Yeah, look at that. It's all ore. Come on, Dev. You're killing me, man. I need bullets. I need bullets. All right, guys. I'm going to do some farming off camera down here and see what I can get done. I do need a storage item down here. I don't know how I'm going to handle I guess I can make one. Hold on. Let's see. Uh... Actually, no, no. You know what? I actually have a, um, I have a couple, uh, what do you call it? Oh, you know, I could probably make a big storage unit down here because I have a couple of, um, God, uh, uh, what do you call it? Lockers on my vehicle, but I'd kind of like to make a big locker down here, like one of those secure lockers because they're they're way bigger. Um, plus, it can be something to stand on, so I don't get killed as soon as I log in. Can I make one though? I mean, the gear is the biggest problem with it. I might have everything I need to make it. Hold on, let's take a look. Uh, it's in here, in here, right there, and I can always move it around, so it doesn't really matter really where I put it. I'm just going to put it right here, I guess. It's a good spot as any. So tell which way it's facing. Alright, whatever. Just freaking build the damn thing. Alright, guys. I'm going to go ahead and build a security locker. I'm going to uh, continue mining down here, and I'm going to get some work done. I do need some wood, which shouldn't be a problem. I think I have an axe with me. I don't have an axe with me, so I can't get any wood unless I find it. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.